Table. Please pay attention so you don't become a sheep. And that was really different because I everything I did I cared. I yeah. cared. It was where a lot of folks it seemed like in the army and so I cared because in a submarine there's no you don't have failure rates. Failure rates mean you could die. In the yeah. in the army, failure rates are like friction points, is what they call them, and they're just opportunities for business to be done. And when you're managing these friction points for business, but you're doing it in combat zones, I have a problem. Uh, since I've no longer worked there, and I volunteered as a uh, bartender at the American Legion. And I was a student before I had a seizure, and the doctor told me to take it easy. I think it was because I was starting to see things the way that they really are, instead of the way that they were presented to me. And I just told him to take it easy, and I would just take it easy and relax and exercise more. I have time for that, and I'm like 70 pounds lighter, and my blood type's no longer O-positive gravy. And I'm more interested in taking care of my physical being so that I can live for 20 years after I retired from the Navy so I can get that pension check that long. So that's the whole plan, right? Give 20 years, yeah. get paid for 40? Okay. The next question is, um, how has your website negatively and positively impacted your life. How is what? Your website is so danger that or dot com oh. positively and impacted you. How has the Carlos Danger dot com positively or negatively yeah. impacted me? Uh, positively Correct. I've uh, been able to interact with different people around the world who share similar ideas that I have and also folks who share totally opposite ideas that I have. And I'm, I'm not, I mean, there's a difference between a confrontational argument and a constructive argument. Yeah. And construction, constructive arguments are collaborations of ideas. And that's really what I see a lot of things is as collaborations of ideas. Because like I said before, there's one thing that I know. I don't know everything, but I'm willing to learn, yeah. but I'm willing to learn. You know, uh, so that's a positive and negatively it, it gets hacked all the time and, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's only because I ask questions that everybody should be, have the answers to. A lot of people are either too afraid to answer the questions or ignorant of the questions. If they're ignorant of the questions, then I'm here to help. But if they're going to argue and deny that those questions need to be asked, at that point now they're stupid. It's stupidity, right? The difference between ignorance and stupidity? And yep. I really don't have a lot of time for stupid people that are going to argue confrontationally, not constructively. Yeah. Okay, and we are now moving up to future questions. Future questions? Uh-oh. Future, yeah. Uh-oh. Like 10 minutes? So, the first one is, what? Like 10, 10 minutes from now? No. Oh. <laughs> so, the first one is, um, how do you want your life to begin one year from now? How many years from now? One. One, uh, I see relocation in my future. Okay. Why? 
Uh, my mother needs some help around the house, maintaining it, like handyman stuff. And yeah. I may not have the huge financial resources to accomplish everything she needs done. However, I do have the time to assist it in getting done. So the one thing I have a lot of and I earned is my time. Yeah. Right? So if I can invest that properly in repaying back somebody that helped me out growing up, then I think that's a proper way of doing things. Okay. The next question is, do you have any habits now that will affect me? Yep. I got like one more cigarette left and I'm quitting. <laughs> okay. Uh... And habits, or you say hobbies? Habits. Habits, yeah, smoking's the one that takes away your time. Any positive habits? Positive things? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, I don't plan on giving up riding a bicycle. That exercise Can you alone. Say that again? I don't plan on giving up riding a bicycle. Okay. And that's just the positive health effects from that. I mean, I ain't racing around town or nothing like that, but I'm getting out and I'm getting a couple exercise, exercise riding, you know, two, three, five, ten, twenty miles, depending on how I feel. Okay. Um, the next question is, are you looking forward to the future and why? Well, you better. If you're not looking forward to your future, you need to change your plans. <laughs> it, all, we're, all we can do here is create memories. Because sooner or later, we'll be gone. Okay, and the last question is, what is one thing that you're hoping that, that does and doesn't happen in the future? What is the one, what is one thing what? That you're hoping that does and doesn't happen in the future. I can almost answer that in one, one sentence. You pray for peace but you prepare for war. Why that sentence? Just based upon the experiences and stuff that I've had in my lifetime. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? I don't know. You're the one interviewing. Well, is there anything that you could people know? Uh, I'm proud of my kids. They've grown up to be beautiful young ladies. And sometimes good people make bad decisions. <laughs>